YouTube, what is going on? Today we are gonna go back to the future. Warzone 2 is slowly making its way back to a lot of the mechanics we had in Warzone 1, besides the slide cancel. And this got me thinking about what's happening to Warzone 1. It has been, let's see how many days, 106 days since Warzone 2 came out. Kind of feels longer than that, if I'm being honest. I wanna see what's happening on Warzone 1. Oh, well, look at that. Uh, no, I'm not gonna run in safe mode. And I haven't booted this game since probably 10 days into Warzone 2. Look at that, it's, I have to install shaders and it's not even the right aspect ratio on my screen. I swear, they made it look more dull. I'm even prompted to sign on to Warzone 2 right away. No, I'm gonna go to Warzone Caldera, then I'm gonna have to change my aspect ratio. No, I play in 1440, let's go. When you log on right away, your two options, Modern Warfare, available now, Warzone 2, available now. We only have two playlists, Battle Royale Quads and Battle Royale Solo. We're gonna be doing solos today. Shaders are now done installing, let's hop in. It could take a long time to find a solos lobby. I have to imagine the player base is pretty low on this. I wonder if you can even get anything in the store now. Nope, these are our only two options. Let me make a Growl class, because I'm gonna try to recreate the Growl in Warzone 2, probably tomorrow. See, do I have any cool blueprints? I have Gumball. I love this blueprint. Now we just gotta make a quick class. Oh, Monolithic Suppressor. We made a foregrip. It used to be so easy to make a class. There was no tuning, there was no nothing. You had five attachments and that was it. it feels so weird to be back here. It feels like you've gone back to like your elementary school and now things are just, everything seems so much different than you remember it in your head. That doesn't feel different. That feels the same as Warzone 2. Look at this Cooper Carver. Look at the recoil difference between Warzone 1 and 2. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's no recoil on this game. Now, I have two theories about what we're going to see in this game. It's either going to be the sweatiest game mode imaginable because the only people staying on this game are the ones who are just like never left. I mean, look at this growl. And then watch the recoil. Absolutely none. Oh, my God. Recoil is non-existent. And check this out. Wee! Slide cancel. The map is still loading in. Look at that. My latency isn't super high, so that means there's still like a fair amount of players in my region. It's probably US East, and I don't know where to go. I'm gonna land over here and just try to get a gun. If I die, we're just gonna spectate. I don't really have any desire to just like sweat in this game mode, because I'm gonna find the people who- Oh, okay, nothing in there. Hello, friend. Still got it, baby! Oh, still got the sauce! No! Boy, that was a sweaty drop. Didn't expect that. Wow, we got a pack gulag here, huh? One, two, three, four, five, me. And no one's fighting. If I remember correctly, this is kind of the move. Easy peasy. Loadout should be going down soon in like 20 seconds. Speaking of the jumping ADS penalty, I had also heard a while back that the developers on a call were like, we will never give you sprinting while plating. You basically need to make a decision. Are you going to die or plate? And it was wild to see after the numbers kind of came down on Warzone 2 that they reverted a lot of the stuff. Here's my loadout. What should I get? I might get that growl loadout. I have another loadout here. I hope no one's on it. Oh, this is definitely not a meta loadout. That's just unfortunate timing for you. That guy already had loadout. Maybe they were going to the free one. And I have no idea what perks I have on this, but the growl feels really good. No backpack, so I have a precision. I can't hold another one. There's an extra plate, some AR ammo. Oh, bullfrog. They had good ground loot in this. Speed boost! Redeploy extraction? All right, we're chilling. Oh, the speed boost, man. Those were so much fun. What happens if I put a stim with the speed boost? Oh, that's a long slide. All right, I hear shots closer. They're doing the snake thing. I'm curious when stuff like this is gonna come back into Warzone 2. Now, there's gonna be a bunch of bots up here, and if you cap this, you get a whole bunch of stuff. Die, bots, die! I'm securing it, but I don't know what that really means. I think I need to have, like, a bunch of money to get it, and I don't have a bunch of money. But there are ATMs! I forgot about the ATMs. Bounty target? Sure. Oh, what? Oh, I get specialist? Wait, I get all this? And I get foresight? Oh, my God! So we now know where the circle's gonna end. Guys, we gotta remember this. It's gonna end over in factory. Oh, I forgot about Combat Scout as well. I have Specialist now, so I have all the perks. Instead of the game trying to limit the perks that we get, I, I have all of them. I have this. I might just get another UAV. Precisions aren't as powerful in this as they are in the other game mode. One guy over in Beachhead. Let's go that way. When I booted this up, I did not expect it to go like this. I think I see this guy on the roof. Yeah. Nope. And throwing knife. All right, this is going well so far, which means it's gonna, like, I'm gonna end up just dying. I didn't even plate, did I? Whoops. Gas mask. Do you need that? 
buy station marker. I will be taking that from you. Thank you very much. Self revive. I can only carry one of those. Wild, huh? I don't feel like going over to the buys. I know they were close, but I'm just being lazy. This is one thing I would love to see in Warzone 2. And that. I'm going to pop this and hit the balloon and go on the next person. Hey, Sally. The balloons just help you get across the map so much easier. Since it's been 100 plus days, I've kind of forgotten about all the good stuff that's in this game mode. Game mode. This entire game, really. I can take balloon to balloon to balloon, get around the map very easily. And now, I mean, Foresight's just, it feels like I'm cheating. I stole it from that guy. There's a car over there. Where are you going, bud? Let's go pay this car a visit or see what's going on in Top Factory. I mean, I could just stay here until end game. I don't think I want to do that, but I could. I'm being tracked. Oh no! I heard someone running. I'm getting out. Or getting, at least I'm gonna get top while they figure out what they want to do. We can do this all over again. It's, I don't care. <laughs> I'm a red threat, so I think that, ooh, this car could be my bounty. Hello, car. All right, someone just landed in. My bounty is very close, and someone shot at me. So, all right, whoever you're sniping from, you're not doing a great job of hitting me. Ow. Okay, you hit me there. Well done. Oh, they show up on the mini map, guys. Where was that from? Oh, sorry, Dan. Nice shots. Guys, the growl actually feels really good. Yep, it feels quite good. All right, so the guy that keeps shooting at me is ghosted. They keep giving me high alert, and I don't know where they are. Aha, they stopped moving, so they're in here. Yep. So I'm gonna go pay them a little visit. We're gonna test out this MP7 now. I, when I equipped the growl, I did not think it was gonna be this good. Didn't think it was gonna be good at all. Are you kidding me? Wait. Wait, 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 what? What, what, what? How did that happen? Oh no. I'm gonna go steal that guy's stuff that I had right there. Oh no, he landed on it, shit. Let's watch Dan, see if he gets the same fate that I had. Absolute chaos raining down. Oh no, you were the guy who, d you were the guy who executed me. I was their first kill of the game. They couldn't even do an execution right. Pick up the growl, trust. Oh, now you're gonna drop the Cali sticks? Now you're gonna drop them. Okay, nope, we're gonna pick them right back up. Man, that infuriated me. Level 962, this person has not stopped playing Warzone since ever, really. They just, they never played Warzone 2. One would think they would get better at Warzone 1, but I don't, I'm not quite sure that's the case. Yeah, I think they're just gonna sit in here until zone closes. But unfortunately, they're not gonna have to move. I wonder if my foresight says, the foresight doesn't stay on the map, but this is right where the zone's gonna go. I think I saw a claymore on the ground. Yep, sure did. And here comes the car. They are, they have a bounty threat on their head. And I think that car outside there on the minimap could be their bounty. And I'm looking forward to this. I mean, they're falling into this person's web. This is a spider playing war zone, please. Oh, they found the claymore. It's gotta be Dan. Dan with the gas grenades. They're gonna throw a decoy out. That should really bamboozle him. Don't run through the fire, you dingus. Didn't see that coming. I thought they were gonna die for sure. Yeah, sure. No. I mean, they're going absolutely nowhere. Why? Just to assert dominance? It's funny how the games change. The way that people play stay the same. There is a little bit more outplay potential on Warzone 1. That is for sure. I don't know if anyone's going to argue that. I would think that if this person wanted to win more games, they would go to Warzone 2. The game is set up for this person to be very successful. They finally added the dual swords. I know they're not Cali sticks, but they're similar. Oh, the red dots on the minimap. You can see when people are firing unsuppressed weapons. One thing they took away for some... Oh, you're going to you're gonna go to the... Bye. You crazy person, you left your room while there are people fighting right here. What are you possibly gonna get? I believe they bought a redeploy token and they're gonna go right back to where we found them. I mean, they're going back to their web. Surprised they haven't shut all these doors too. Not that big of a circle for 16 people. Jimbo's gonna have to defend this with their lives. Oh, I hear footsteps. Jimbo hears him too. Jimbo, I think it could be above you, my man. Oh, Jimbo's ready for a fight though. Stuns are going out. Someone's upset. Part of me wants Jimbo to die in the most infuriatingly way possible. I want Jimbo to get executed with Cali sticks. But part of me also wants them to win. One person above Jimbo. They keep fishing with stuns. Oh no. It's a riot shield versus Cali sticks, guys. How did they get an execution there? Oh. 
refexes that person's name and they are pissed. So pissed that, look at it, there's three people here. Four, excuse me. Ooh. Jimbo, careful, someone's back. Yeah, you need that. Oh God, they're down here with them, the rose skin. They're playing Ring Around the Rosie right now. The Roskin is in this room with them. That was two hits with the Cali Sticks. What the hell? I'm telling you, people just keep falling into Jimbo's web. Here comes another one. How? How are the Cali Sticks this good? I dropped into this game thinking I was gonna really miss Warzone 1. For the first half of this video, I absolutely did. But now, I definitely don't. I do not miss dying to people camping in buildings with Cali Sticks. Granted, a lot of these people should be killing Jimbo and they're not. Jimbo, yeah, I was gonna say, you have a good thing going here in your little room, your torture chamber. Why would you leave it? Deployable cover, of course, that's gotta go down, yeah. Just in case someone comes down, don't tell me you're gonna leave the Cali sticks there. I think you're good with what you got. Although in Warzone 1, things would despawn a lot faster. In Warzone 2, I don't think much, much despawns at all. They got a fresh gas mask. We're in it to win it here. Now, Jimbo still has one person in this building, at least. Another person who's probably gonna try to take the top because that's what people do. And then maybe someone coming off the cliffs gonna hit that redeploy balloon. Hey, Sally. And this game needs to hurry up and finish because I need to let my dog outside. She came to this room and just ripped what I think is maybe the smelliest fart of her life. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, yeah. And when she chooses, to fart around you, that means she needs your attention or needs to go outside. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it, Sal. We just gotta see if Jimbo can clutch this up. I love you too. Here's the deal. I am now fully invested in Jim winning this game. And if you are too, I would suggest that you subscribe in solidarity with that movement. For every person that subscribes, Jim's chances of winning go up astronomically. I'm not sure what astronomically equates to percentage-wise, but it's gotta be high. Oh, are you gonna shoot him out? Absolute beams. You should have picked up my ground, my friend. Don't leave. Jim has a balloon, which actually could be useful here in a second, and a precision airstrike. I'm also curious how many of you guys have gone back and played Warzone 1 since it came out. I think in the first couple of weeks, Warzone 2 was not doing it for me, and I thought I was going to be back on this map a lot more than I was. But after the movement changes and the plating mechanics and all that stuff that they changed very recently, I have been enjoying my time on Warzone 2 a lot more. And then watching this, I don't, I don't miss it. I don't miss playing against people like Jim, not even a little bit. But bad news, Jim now has to leave. Someone's got to be hiding up there. The person that you missed and beamed has to be on top. Gunshots up on the roof. Jim has now left his hole. Going to precision that. But that's kind of the area you want, my friend. Gonna, I'm going to be honest with you. I guess Jim could stay this level. They got to kill with that. They got to take the balloon. Uh-oh. Jim! Jim! Careful! There they are. The rose skin. Jim not full plated. Finally stunned. Did they kill that person? Oh, now we got Dan. Dan, you were the one who killed me. I think. Maybe this is the same Dan. Dan never got them. Oh my god. Guys, this is everything I hated about Warzone 1. Someone camping in a bush with the heartbeat sensor. Now they know where both people are. They're both going to be on this building. Hello, Dan. How are you? Dan, you have a UAV. It's the heartbeat sensor of the sky, my friend. You don't need to keep checking it. The UAV does it for you. I will say one of the rare Ws of Warzone 1 right off rip was the fact that they had a battery on the heartbeat sensor and made them worse. The heartbeat sensor spam in this game was pretty unbelievable. Oh, and Dan got zoned. Everyone's gonna have to run over your bush, fly over your bush, go past your bush somehow. Here comes the UAV. One's ghosted. We don't know where the other one is. One's coughing. See the guy by the car on the minimap? Oh my god. That worked! You have to be kidding me! Oh, here's the best part. Dan, that bush strat worked, man. I'm sorry if you guys fell victim to it. Imagine camping there, Dan. Go back to work. You don't deserve to win that game. <laughs> Fucking asshole. They need to bring that back to Warzone 2. They gave us prox chat. Let us all chit-chat at the end.